So my name is Tom. I'm going to be talking a little bit this afternoon about macaroni penguins, uh, one of our most iconic species here at Living Coast. So macaroni penguins are pretty unique in the fact that they are a crested type of penguin. Now, there's a few crested penguins. One of the most popular you might know from Happy Feet is the rock hopper. Uh, one of the most famous penguins. Macaronis are very closely related, but they're a little bit bigger, a bit more stocky. And they're found in places like the Falkland Islands, South Georgia, South Sandwich Islands, all around the Southern Ocean. Uh, there's nice cold water, cold weather systems, maybe not so much ice and snow, apart from in the winter. Usually pretty steep cliffs, so they've got to have nice sharp claws on their feet to be able to climb and clamber over those slippery rocks. They're also found on pretty windy, inhospitable places, not many people living there but many, many penguins, and some of their colonies can number in the millions. Millions of penguins all in one massive super colony. A bit of a misnomer about penguins is the fact that they mate for life. They actually don't. Typically, penguins will usually mate maybe two or three seasons at a time and then they'll move on and find a different partner. And that's really important to make sure that the genetic pool stays nice and varied. As well as that, when they are in their pairs, just for those one, maybe two, maybe three seasons, they are very loyal. And the males in particular will defend their nesting site with a lot of aggression, a lot of territorial behaviour. You'll see that a little bit um, over the coming months as we move into spring. And as well as that, the macaronis also produce something called a scrape in the ground, which is basically just a collection of sticks and pebbles, which they will use as a nest. Now, compared to other species of penguins, this is a very primitive form of nest, but they don't really need too much other than that because there's not many other animals or predators on the land where they live. Now, once they do pair up and they do breed, uh, the macaroni penguins will begin to lay their eggs. Uh, and these eggs are pretty big, they normally lay two, and the first of which is always, or pretty much always, the dummy egg, the practice egg, which they'll lay. There's not a baby in that, or very rarely is there a baby in that one, and they'll kick that one out of the nest when they're finished with it. So they maybe sit on that one for about a week, kick it out of the nest, and then when the second egg arrives, that's where their whole attention for both penguins, both male and female, mum and dad, that's where their attention will be. Now for the penguins themselves, like most species, um, they'll then have fishing trips out to sea, whilst one of the parents is sat on the egg, the other one will disappear into the ocean, maybe just for a few days, maybe for up to a couple of weeks, in search of lots of fish, fill their bellies full of those fish, ready for when that baby hatches after anywhere between about 30 and 35 days. Once it does, they'll feed it with lots and lots of that regurgitated fish, and they'll swap over so the other parent gets a chance to go and get some food and comes back again after that fishing trip to feed the baby. Ah. As well as eating fish, like most penguins do, macaronis are also pretty specialist hunters. You might notice that they have got very red eyes, which help them to see really clearly underwater. Now, as well as that, they've also got these special nictitating membranes, they're called, which is basically like a third eyelid that comes across to help them see more clearly underwater and protect their eyes from that salty water. It's a bit like us, we put on a pair of goggles to go in the swimming pool. Now, when they do that, they can dive down to several hundreds of meters at a time, uh, this particular species can maybe hold their breath for three or four minutes at a time at a push. Usually typical dives will last no longer than about two minutes. Now when they are diving like that, they'll be hunting lots of different kinds of food, quite often small fish that fit nicely inside their beak. But also as well as that, being a particularly good deep diver, the macaroni penguins are also pretty good at catching smaller animals like krill. And krill do make up a large proportion of their diet. Around the Falklands where they're found, there's lots of very rich groups of krill in the water for them to go and hunt. The macaroni penguins are actually the most numerous penguin on the planet. There's more of them than any other penguin. But still, even though there's lots more of them, many millions of penguins and some colonies that actually number over a million in just one colony, uh, these penguins are actually classified as vulnerable to extinction. So despite the fact there's lots of them, they're actually not doing too well. The trend is that we're losing them pretty rapidly. Um, now, like other penguin species, one of the biggest reasons for this is a lack of food where they're found. Uh, particularly some of the Southern Oceans uh, and the currents uh, are used by fishermen in the Southern Ocean mean that the food supplies like the krill, uh, the squid and the fish they like to eat is actually depleting pretty rapidly. And here at Living Coasts, we're quite excited uh, to announce that we've got a new project starting soon, uh, which is on the Falkland Islands. And what we're going to be planning on doing there is protecting habitat, vital habitat, for nesting sites for these macaroni penguins. 
And if we can do that, hopefully we can give them a nice safe place to be, to rest, to rest and raise their young, and obviously give them a stable base to go from in order to then go and catch their fish.